In this video, um, we look at how to rewrite quadratic functions in vertex form. First of all, why would we do that? Part of the reason is because when it's written in vertex form, remember vertex form is y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. And standard form is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, especially with practice, when you look at vertex form, it's very, easily to, very easy to read off what the vertex is and whether it opens up or down, whether it's narrow or wide. So, oftentimes we're given a problem that looks like this, and it simply says uh, rewrite f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 12x plus 13 in vertex form. Vertex form is also called HK form. And here's um, the steps to do this. So the first thing that you do is you want to write out the equation y is equal to 2x squared plus 12x plus 13. And the first step is you want to isolate um, a, um, sorry, x squared plus bx, right? That's what we want to isolate that. And the way we're going to do that is first we're going to move the 13 over the other side, so y minus 13 is equal to 2x squared plus 12x. And then I'm going to factor a 2 out. Now you could divide everything by 2, but then you know it with fractions, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to uh, factor a 2 out and leave it out there, so I get x squared plus 6x. And if you've noticed, what I have here is right here I've isolated x squared plus bx. The next step is I'm going to complete the square. And the way that we complete the square is we take b, half it, and square it. So in this case, b is 6. Half of 6 is 3 and 3 squared is 9. So b is 6, half it is 3, and when we square that we get 9. So we're going to add 9 right here. I always add it here. If I add it here and I make a mistake, I have trouble going back and figuring out where I made a mistake. So I write a plus 9 there. So remember, um, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. Now it appears that we added 9 to this side, but we actually didn't. We actually added 9 times 2. So whenever you have a coefficient out here that you factor it out, you have to multiply it by whatever you add. So we really added 18 here, so we have to add 18 to this. And now I'm just going to rewrite the equation. y plus 5 is equal to 2 x squared plus 6 x plus 9. So here's our first two steps. First step is to isolate x squared plus bx. If you notice, that's what I, I got this that's uh, finish step two there. And then I'm going to complete the square. And I'm going to complete the square by adding 9 here. Since I added 9 here, well, in fact, I added 9 times 2. I added 9, 18, so I have to add 18 here. Let's go on the third step. So I'm here. y plus 5 is equal to 2x squared plus 6x plus 9. And the next step is I'm just going to factor. And this actually always factors very easily because it's completing the square. This is going to be x plus 3 squared 2y plus 5. And then I'm simply going to rewrite it in whatever form I want. In this case, all I want is I want the 5 over there, and I'm done. So I'm going to subtract 5 and subtract 5. My final answer is 2x plus 3 squared minus 5. Let's put a box around that. And we can look at that. We can look at why we did that. We know the vertex, minus 3, minus 5. We know the axis of symmetry, x is equal to minus 3. We know it opens up. We know it opens up because the a is positive. And we know it's relatively narrow, at least relative to x squared, because the absolute value of a is greater than 1. Now, it may be that you need some help with um, this part right here, which is completing the square. And what you need to go do is you need to, go, if you if that's true, is go watch the video 
on completing the square. Let's do another example. Now what we want to do is let's um, rewrite in vertex form y is equal to 3x squared minus 24x plus 59. Now sometimes they might ask you a different question. They might ask you what the vertex is or whether it's narrow or wide. Then you might rewrite it just to find out what the vertex is. But here we want to specifically rewrite it as in vertex form y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. Right? So the first thing we do is move the 59 over here. And then I'm going to factor 3 out. You could divide everything by 3, but then you'd get 59 thirds and a y over 3. It'd be kind of a mess, so I would just factor a 3 out on this side. And then I would leave a gap right here. And so that's your first step. Remember what our steps were? Our first step would, was to isolate x squared plus bx. And then our second step is to complete the square. So we're going to take b. b is minus 8. We're going to half it. 1 half of b is minus 4. And then we're going to square that. Minus 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to add a positive 16. I'm going to add it down here in case I make a mistake and need to find my work. So that's completing the square right there. Now, if I add 16 to this side, I have to do the same thing to this side, but I'm not actually adding 16. I'm adding 16 times 3, right? Because it's inside the parentheses and there's 3 there. So I'm really adding 48, so I have to add 48 to this side. And now I'm just going to rewrite what I have. That's y, that's going to be minus 11, is equal to 3x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now I'm going to factor this. That becomes x minus 4 squared, 3. Now, remember, what I need to do here is I need to find two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to a minus 8. And minus 4 plus minus 4 is minus 8. Minus 4 times minus 4 is a positive 16. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 11 to both sides. And then I'm done. And then I can also read off what the vertex is here. The vertex here is 411. It's going to open up, and it's going to be narrow. And that's how you rewrite in vertex form.